Do you remember when you were told you could be anything you wanted to be when you grew up? This is actually how it is for a stem cell. You can think of a stem cell as similar to a baby. A stem cell does not yet have a specific function. At this point, it's a bit immature. Excuse me? But it has a lot of potential. It can become any type of cell in our bodies. How? All the cells in the body have the same DNA. But cues in their environment will gradually guide them toward becoming a specific cell type. For example, a neuron, a muscle cell, or a cell in your liver. There are more than 200 different types of cells in our bodies. But once a cell gets its job, it will keep this job forever. For a long time, researchers thought that once a cell specializes, it would remain in that state until it dies. However, it is possible to undo this. Really? So does this mean I can be young again? No, not young again. But cells can unlearn to be what they once were. Scientists found a way to convince mature, specialized cells to go back to their baby state, to become stem cells again. This is possible by taking cells from a blood sample, for example, and reactivating just four parts of their DNA. Well, that sounds easy. It does, doesn't it? But it took scientists many, many years to figure out exactly which four DNA spots out of more than 20,000 were the correct ones to activate, to reprogram mature cells. With stem cells, researchers can make all the different cell types they want in the lab. OK, but why would they want to do that? Because like this, they can finally directly observe human cells developing in a dish. This helps them understand diseases, from heart problems to depression, and find cures for them. And one day, they might even be able to safely grow entire organs in the lab to use them as alternatives for transplants. Whoa!